There is this common misconception that exists to people outside of the web design and development profession. To the uninitiated, many think that just because DIY platforms such as Wix and Squarespace exist, building a high quality website is as easy as grabbing a template and throwing some information on the World Wide Web. While this is an option, it's pretty viable for someone who wants something quick and cheap. However, if you want a platform that will guarantee results and provide the best user experience, then you need to hire a professional web designer and developer, someone who knows not only the technical specs, but also the anatomy of what makes a website secure visitor retention. So without further ado, I will provide reasons why web designers and developers will never be out of a job. Reason number one, sites will always need management and maintenance. Whether you're looking to build a new site from the ground up or looking to clean up an old one, an expert in the field is required. Like any technology, websites present their own problems, formatting issues, down servers, corrupted code, some mysterious functionality issue, etc. All these problems require skilled web technicians, someone who devotes their time and energy understanding internet technicalities. As with the car, you wouldn't think of changing the oil on your own unless you were super cheap or seriously strapped for cash. Now, <laughs> I'm not saying you aren't capable of changing the oil, but why would you when specialists exist? If I change my own oil, the error margin will, will widen. It doesn't need to be said, but I'm going to say it anyway. There are a gazillion websites in existence. There are a gazillion more waiting to be built. New businesses, current businesses, writers, teachers, niche content creators, whoever, all need websites. Unless these people are looking to enroll in a coding bootcamp, online course, or watch YouTube tutorials until the cows come home, it's highly likely they will outsource development of their own websites. Reason number two, technology is always changing. As the tech industry grows, so does the craft and ability of a web designer and developer, or at least it should. With new developments in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and other languages, opportunities continue to broaden at a neck-breaking speed. CSS has become, <coughs> excuse me, sassy, if you catch that little joke, while JavaScript goes from under to top dog as a chosen language for most frameworks and APIs. Starting off as a lightweight language, JavaScript is resting its head on the beds of the gaming industry and making itself useful elsewhere. Because of the constant evolution of coding languages, it forces companies and sole proprietors to always stay ahead of the curve. For this reason, developers and designers who choose their mission to grow will always be in high demand. Reason number three, content managers and WYSIWYG editors will always need manual coding and design. Content management systems such as WordPress, Wix, and Weebly do not take away jobs, but provide career and opportunities. Those templates that cheapskates are so fast to use are created by serious designers and developers. People who study the martial arts of CSS, JavaScript, and PHP, along with design aesthetics and informational hierarchy, take the complexities of web design and simplify them for the everyday user. WordPress alone takes care of many families as people such as solo freelancers or even teams crank out unique themes and plugins that anyone needing to create an online store, blog, or branded website can use. And who else do you think provides those sample templates that the dweebs on Weebly use? Coders and designers approaching 10,000 hours of truly honing their craft. You may not need to outsource an experienced programmer to throw up a simple four page site, but these companies do, and they pay very well for those who can produce at a high level. These platforms will always need high skilled developers to update, debug, and invent features that will cater to the user from every angle. For Wix, Weebly, and Squarespace to compete with the WordPress community, who willingly contributes to the consistent improvement of the open source software, they have to always hire the best. And if you take time to build your coding muscle, you'll put yourself in a unique position of hiring when needs have to be fulfilled. Reason number four, people do not have time to manage their own sites. Besides death and taxes being for certain, I'm confident these lovely three words are in addition. People are lazy, point blank, period. On a podcast episode from Internet Business Mastery, one of the hosts expressed a frustration about poor content marketing advice some people give others. Oh, well, you missed the boat. It's too many podcasts or blogs out there for you to start one now. You should have gotten in earlier. 
I use this as an example because this statement evolves into a mindset that paralyzes a lot of people from moving forward or taking action. Nothing can be further from the truth. Despite a saturated online field, demand is still high. As a matter of fact, it is the saturated market of content curators that are keeping designers and developers in high business. As a content curator myself, I have a blog, YouTube channel, etc. My focus shifts a lot towards producing content, not web designing and developing. Therefore, the web designer himself looks to outsource and hire higher skilled designers and developers to update my site and Lumen Tech while I focus on the things that's going to move the DLJ Works brand even forward towards my goal. And finally, reason number five, web designers and developers at the end of the day are still human beings. Despite our technological trek uphill, people want to talk to other people, at least when it comes to troubleshooting. Speaking from my own experience, I love skipping past the automated gatekeepers to discover a human being after pressing zero when making a call to a bill collector or just anybody else, or waiting on the line to speak to a customer service agent. This same feeling applies to people who have a website plagued with technical issues. People in need of a website or who already possess one receive a peace of mind knowing there's a fellow human being they can discuss pending issues with. As a designer developer myself, my clients call me all the time about technical issues. After I explain the basics on how to use, say, a WordPress site, I remain on standby for other issues that may arise. While other designers may see this as terrible, I just design a site ready to hand over to my consumer. I see it as a business opportunity. Most of my clientele is unwilling to handle these problems on their own. So I'm paid a monthly fee for upkeep and maintenance of their site, which obviously keeps me regularly in business. Others initially think that they want to have a DIY site approach in the beginning to keep money in their pocket, but eventually find that the problems are too big. And trust me, ladies and gentlemen, the problems, needs, wants that arise in web design equates to big business for us. Until the day our titles become automated thanks to machines, designers and developers have no reason to drip sweat on our brow, basically because we are part of the collective designing and developing the hive brain. Screen recording is an invaluable tool for a programmer, content creator, teacher, and many professions. When I need to record GIF and YouTube video clips, document my coding process, and develop tutorials for my students, or do play-by-play -play commentary, I use Screencast-O-Matic. For $18 a year, you can take advantage of using Screencast-O-Matic's many features from their simple yet deep video editor to storing your videos on their server and retrieve them with the utmost of ease. Let your thoughts and expertise be heard over the best content for your audience with Screencast-O-Matic today, right now.